So welcome to another one of our amazing Resonant Wave Technology webinars. I'm David Wong, your host today. We have our special guest, my lovely friend, Carmel Stace. Say hi. Hi guys, nice to be here again. Great, so today we have a very exciting webinar. I'm gonna be releasing 410 new quantum frequencies. I'm gonna to reveal to you today. Um, it's gonna to be absolutely blow your, blow your mind. And as you've already seen in the email, uh, if you stay until the end of the webinar, I have a free coronavirus frequency. It's a Rife frequency directly from uh, Rife Manual. And I created it. It's a 51 minute long audio track that you can get free access to at the end of the webinar. So make sure you stay to the end of the webinar, get that frequency, start using it, send it to your friends, send it to your family, okay? So it's very important right now. Coronavirus is just spreading like, um, uh, in a really bad way, and my wife and I are just really appalled by what we've seen on the news. Let's do whatever we can to protect ourselves and to protect our friends and family. So with that being said, today is the quantum frequency revelation. We have some revolutionary frequencies I'm gonna share with you. So let me get to the presentation. So there's 410 new quantum frequencies revealed, and these are frequencies that allow you to instantly transform your mind and body, and they're so simple, but they're really powerful. And they're powerful because they are based on nature. They're based on vibrations of our own chakras are in our bodies, vibrations of the planets, vibrations of Earth, vibrations of the sun and the moon, and even stars and a whole lot more. So these are actual frequencies that are already occurring in nature. And what I've done, and what many other scientists have done, is to use NASA data, so actual telemetry from NASA, who uh, have calculated the dimensions and the measurements, the radius, the, the mass, the, you know, the, basically the vibrations and the, and the uh, frequencies of planets and stars. And what I've done is turned them into uh, audio forms, turned them into sound waves. So what you're gonna get is, compared to the previous ones that we had, now they're higher accuracy, they're even more powerful now because I'm using new waveforms that have never been used before. I'm also using, uh, incorporating new sacred geometry harmonics that, uh, that you haven't seen before either. So what you also learn in this webinar is how I actually craft these frequencies. What is the math behind them? And what are quantum frequencies anyway? And what are these right frequencies talking about? What's the difference? There's PMF. PEMF frequencies, there's quantum frequencies, there's right frequencies, there's so many things. I'm getting confused here. So what's the difference and what, what use is each one? How do I use them? So we're gonna cover that in a webinar. So who is David Wong? I'm a Qigong energy practitioner. If you don't know what Qigong is, it just means energy work in Chinese. So it's a combination of um, breathing, of movements, meditation, visualization, uh, even your sound, even your voice, uh, and your position, and your and your um, and your intention. So all that combining into a meditative practice that actually helps you to become more healthy, become more focused, become more um, health, uh, more energetic too. Okay, so I'm a qigong practitioner. I've been practicing for over ten years. I practice every day. I just came back from a session today, and I feel energized, as you can see. And I'm also the inventor of the qi coil and the resonant wave systems. I'm the one who invented using the system of combining electromagnetic coil with, not my dog, electromagnetic coil with, with a Qi coil app, uh, combining the use of audio signals with electromagnetic coil using an app. So I'm the inventor. I'm also a musician and composer. If you look at my YouTube channel and the last, uh, on my channel, you can see me playing piano. So I like to play music. I play guitar, I sing, I make music, okay? so. You're probably asking, well, what does that have to do with um, this company, like Resonant Wave Systems? Well, what I've done is basically combine all those things I have learned in my life. Qigong, energy, healing, health, the flow of energy. That's what Qigong is all about. Combining with music. And what's music? Music is a vibration. Music programs your moods, programs your emotions, right? It makes you feel sad. It makes you feel happy. It makes you feel excited, right? Um, it can make you feel melancholic. And what, I, and what else? There's also health technology, like pulse electromagnetic frequencies, PMF technologies, Rife technologies. All these things 
what's the central underlying theme? What's the central thing that combines all of them? It's frequency, okay? And guess what? Guess what Nikola Tesla said? Nikola Tesla said that if you wish to understand the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Who's heard of this before? Raise your hand. Everybody's heard this before, okay? So if you haven't, that's what he says. Nikola Tesla, the guy who invented um, alternating current that revolutionized the way that we um, have energy in the world. Before, uh, he invented alternating current. You, can, you had to be close to the power, uh, set, uh, power um, generator in order to get energy. And then people that are farther away from it could not get energy. They had less energy. You have to think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. And what are all those things I talked about? Qigong, energy, the flow of energy. Pulse electromagnetic frequencies. What is that? It's a frequency. It's a vibration. What is music? It's also a frequency and vibration and energy. So I'm using all those things I've studied in my life and then putting it into this product, into this technology. Okay, so as I said, there are going to be 410 frequencies that are going to be revealed this uh, webinar. There's so many that I don't have time to go into depth into each one of them. But what I have done is uh, I created a very short description for each one. And I've organized them into different um, albums and categories so that makes it easier for you to understand. Okay, so let's start with the first one, which is Schumann Resonance. Okay, who's heard of Schumann Resonance? Raise your hand. Okay, awesome. Here's a little um, review of what Schumann Resonance was. Dr. Schumann, he discovered that the Earth had a frequency. And it was using a mathematical formula that is, um, that is this. So this is the basic theory of calculating the resonance of a planet. And basically, A, a is the radius of the, um, of the planet. Uh, or it could be just a, um, anything that's spherical. C is the speed of light. So if you plug the, the numbers into that, uh, into that uh, formula, you're going to calculate that the frequency of Earth is about 7. Um, well, he calculated 7.83. Uh, I did some other calculations as well based on more up-to-date data about the Earth, and it's actually 7.5 or so, okay? But let's, let's say it's 7.83. So what we did is we used that frequency, and then we used um, it to calculate a waveform that you can listen to and that you can meditate to or that you can actually experience with using a chi coil or using a resonant wand, or using an oral coil, okay? And then based on 7.83, the Earth actually has harmonics. What harmonics are we talking about? Look, there's a fundamental mode of 7.83, second order harmonics is 14.1, and third order harmonics of 20.3. So the Earth is kind of like, the Earth has harmonics, just like if you play guitar. Who here plays an instrument like piano, a guitar, or uh, any stringed instrument, okay? Any stringed instrument. Notice that when you, when you pluck the string, it vibrates, but then if you tap a part of the string, like let's say uh, 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 one quarter ways down, it actually stops the ringing of the other parts of the string and it just rings the harmonic. So what's happening is when you're plucking the string, not only is it playing that note, it's playing the harmonics of all the other notes built into that one note. So every note that you play in music has a harmonic to go with it. So in nature, they're not just, when you hear a frequency in nature, it's never just one frequency. It's always a frequency plus the harmonics that are attached to it or that go along with it. So Earth, in the same way, also has harmonics, as with many, uh, uh, all, the, all the planets have harmonics. All the um, stars have harmonics as well. So what we've done is actually created harmonics with the 7.83 frequency. And then, what else do we do? Okay, so the first album and the second album is the brainwave frequencies uh, with harmonics. Okay, so one is just the frequency as a scale, going up the scale of the harmonic. And the second one is the actual harmonics. So all the notes are played together. And why is 7.83 important? Why is this number so important? And why are these harmonics important? Well, let me, let me take a look. Okay. Here are the earth harmonics. Are you guys seeing this? Okay, so the true earth frequency based on the uh, equator 
is 7.49. Schumann measured it as 7.83 because he was at a, as a place in uh, North America that had a different reading. Okay, but based on his um, findings, if you do the um, harmonics based on the Schumann frequency, these are the rest of the Schumann harmonics. Can you guys see this? So 14.1, 20.8, 27.3, 33.8, 39, and 45. Okay. Now, what frequencies do those remind you of? Can anybody take a guess? What do these frequencies remind you of if you're into neuroscience? Or <laughs> I guess not everybody's into neuroscience. Okay, but everybody knows that brain waves are actually um, right at the uh, borders of those frequencies. Let's take a look. We have the Schumann, uh, the Earth, the base frequency is about seven point between basically between seven and eight. And guess where the theta between the theta and alpha is right at eight. So right on the border. How come? Is that a coincidence? The next harmonic of Earth is 14.1. And then there's a border around 13 between alpha and beta. Brainwave frequency. Is that a coincidence? I don't know. You tell me. The next one is 20.8 and 27. Okay. So maybe we skip one. Let's say between 27 and 33. Those are the other borders between beta and gamma is between around 30. And where is beta and gamma? About 32. So the earth harmonic is matching with our brain waves. Isn't that blow your mind? That's super cool, David. Okay. So the harmonics of earth match our brain waves. And then you go higher, let's say up, up there, then it becomes higher gamma and so on. So what does it mean? That means that Earth itself is resonating and syncing with our brain waves. So when we are, when you feel connected to Earth, there's a reason. <laughs> when you feel like you can meditate to the Earth or to nature, there's a reason. Because nature itself has a frequency and is syncing up with your brain waves. Okay? So... Whether that's scientifically proven or not, I don't know, but I'll let you decide whether that is, you know, useful to you or not. But isn't this, you know, there's got to be reason to this coincidence. Okay, so that's Schumann Resonance. You can get these on uh, our store right now. Uh, there's a, you know, each one of them have about 10 to 50 frequencies, okay? So each one of these little squares I'm showing you right now, each one of them has about between 10 to 50 frequencies per album, all right? And you can get these uh, in the store. Okay, next one is the uh, sun. So sun, the sound of sun frequency, I think most of us have this already because we give this away for free. And uh, it's NASA's recording of the sun. And what we've done is we've done uh, multiple um, different iterations of it. So some of it sped up, some of it slowed down so you can get different, um, different resonance of it. And in the Ayurvedic Vedas, this Hindu scriptures, the most ancient scriptures that we find in the planet, they talk about this sacred sound of Om, and the Om is the all-encompassing sound. And if you can understand, or you can meditate, or you can hear this sound, they basically said that you have attained all that you can attain in this universe. So, well, what did NASA do? They recorded the sound of sun. They found the sound of the sun, and that Om sound is actually now scientifically recorded by NASA. And we have that. It's also available to, uh, on the store. And this is the life, also the life force frequency. It's, a, it's a very similar. And it's a source of life because the sun is the source of life on planet and source of life in, in our solar system. Okay. What else do we have? We have sun and moon harmonics. So what, I, what we did, we've taken the uh, NASA data of the sun and the moon, and then we've created harmonics with those dimensions. So if you want to meditate with sun and moon harmonics, we also have that. Mm -hmm. At, in this album, okay? Uh, once again, uh, brainwave patterns are matching with the sun and moon as well. Isn't that amazing? David, quick question here. Um, for the moon, is that something that people can utilize during a full moon or new moon to meditate with? Oh yeah, absolutely. So the moon resonance, so any, any resonance that you uh, meditate with, whether it's a sun or a planet, Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, Earth, any planet, any star, when you are meditating with that, you are basically syncing yourself or tuning yourself to that planet or to that star. So you're, you're basically vibrating yourself to that energetic um, 
energetic, uh, what do you go, celestial object, okay? And I think what, what to mention what's really different about doing it on your own compared to with the technology is that, you know, you can have that meditation on your own, but depending on what blocks are sitting there and allowing you or not allowing you to connect deeper with that, what you can do is play it from, you know, the wand or the chi coil or your app or the aura coil and just immediately be able to tune in rather than waiting till, you know, those blocks are cleared and you can finally get that strong connection with it. So that's super exciting. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So, and it gets more exciting. What about the planets? Who's into the astrology? Raise your hand. Okay. <laughs> astrology is, is uh, based on the stars, but also the planets, right? Um, we have, uh, the zodiac, each zodiac has a planet, does it? I'm not sure. I think it does, right? Well, all the gods of the um, Greeks are, are named after the planets, and there's a reason for that. So the planets, what are the nine planets? Well, each planet has a different frequency as well, and they also fall into our brainwave patterns, okay? Let me show you in a second. So let's see. Now, for example, Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune are from zero to four hertz which are in the deep delta waves, deep sleep, deep meditation. You're basically, you know, in, in deep, deep sleep. Theta from four to eight hertz is, is uh, Earth and Venus. So Earth and Venus is actually tuned to our theta waves and help us to dream. Alpha waves from eight to 12 hertz is Mars and, and Venus as well. Um, Mercury and Mars, the higher ones, are in beta, 12 to 40. Gamma, Pluto, and the moon are actually in our high gamma ranges. Okay, so each planet is actually tuning to our brain waves as well. So many people who um, like follow astrology, they um, study something called Mercury retrograde. Who, who's heard of Mercury retrograde before? So Mercury retrograde is a, is a um, phenomenon where Mercury looks like it's going through the sky and then goes backwards for like a couple of weeks. Okay, I don't know how long usually about a couple of weeks or so. And when, when that happens, they say that we, everything goes haywire. People like can't focus, people get sick, people get tired, accidents happen, people get unlucky during that time. So what's happening is that when we are here on earth, not only are we experiencing the vibrations of earth, we're actually experiencing the vibrations of the planets too, in a very, very subtle way, okay? Because the planets, have a, they're, they're all, they're resonating. All the planets are resonating in the same way because all the planets also have an electromagnetic field just like Earth. And we are being affected by it. Our consciousness are being affected by it. And specifically, our spinal fluid is actually being uh, affected by small perturbations of magnetic fields. So if you, if you just um, do some research, you'll find that during full moons, that's when there's the highest rate of suicide and also the highest rate of homicide. Why is that? What if you can replace that vibration from the planet with just the frequency that you can have with this sound, okay? Because if you're, getting this, if you're not getting that vibration from space, why not just get that vibration by using the sound, by using the frequency that is now available here? Why not? Would it work? It works for me. You, you have to try it out yourself, okay? It works for me too. <laughs> I absolutely love it, David. Um, the fact that we can push play and you know have that frequency here while the rest of the cosmos and the world is doing its own thing, it's just, it's just remarkable. Yeah, so um, Australia's degree is great, right? You know what, what is the cosmos doing and then why it's affecting the planet in a certain way. But then we don't want to let it run our lives, right? We don't want to say, okay, the Mercury is very great. I should just like hide myself in the cave for the next two weeks, right? We don't want to control lives. So what if there's a way to replace Mercury's resonance or replace a planet's resonance or replace a, um, or not replace or emulate, just emulate the resonance of the planet or a star or, or the moon or the sun, right? Then you can be receiving those frequencies, the resonance of those planets that we already naturally get. These are frequencies that we naturally get as we exist on planet Earth. And we have, ex and we have been experiencing these for thousands and basically since the beginning of time. 
And now we're able to use these frequencies and emulate them so that now we can basically design our own frequency, design our own resonance. Isn't that amazing? Who's amazed? I'm totally amazed. I'm still amazed by this stuff. So, um, okay, so, there's, so he, we, here we have two versions. We have the nine planets pi. So we, we can build a harmonic plate based on pi. Pi is the um, ratio of the uh, circumference and the radius of a, of a sphere, of a circle, right? And, and you can, we use the harmonic ratio to build the frequencies for each planet based on pi. We also did another version called nine planets plus, which is uh, using a different ratio. We're using a phi ratio to build these frequencies. So we're offering many different harmonics for each of the planets, okay? So um, how can I explain it? You just have to listen to it and then you, know, then you can know the difference. These are things you have experienced yourself. Okay, let's move on. We don't have much time. We only have 30 minutes and we got like 100 more frequencies to go. So, <laughs> So star frequencies, what is it? As I said, um, all the stars have frequencies and um, these we've created from the most uh, popular stars in the sky. And we also created harmonics. So one is frequencies and one is harmonics. And what, what stars are in there? If you wanna check it out, you can go to uh, chilifestar.com and there's about 30, I think 20 or 30 different stars, okay? Everything from Polaris to Betelgeuse to Sirius to, um, and these are more stars than we have ever had. And they're all, like I said, each one of these squares, it contain anywhere from, uh, let's say 10 up to 50, 50 frequencies per of these albums. Okay, yeah. so what are they used for? You can use them for uh, out of about experience, astral projection, right? If you want to meditate to a star, if you want to do astral projection, um, you know, experiment with meditation, then this is one thing that could really help you uh, do that, okay? Star systems, okay? We also do this. Um, so, okay, so all these actually we uh, include into a big bundle of all nine frequency albums, each album having anywhere from 10 to 50 frequencies, and we have a value bundle, we call it the Grand Cosmo Bundle, and that includes the sun, the earth, the Schumann resonance, that includes the planets, that includes the stars, harmonics, uh, star systems, and we put them all into one, it's called Grand, Grand Cosmos, okay? So that's all in the store, you can get that. Okay, let's move on. Next one is chakras. Who meditates with chakras? Meditate with chakras, yoga, we're all into chakras. Okay, who knows, who knows all seven chakras? Okay, type it into the chat box, let me see. If you know all chakras, what's the first chakra? Is it is a chakra quiz? What's the first chakra called? Root. Seven Root chakra. chakra. You got it, Barry. Ruth. Good job. What's the next one? Sacral. Sacral. Got it, Sergio. Good job. What's the next one? Come on, guys. Come on. What's the third? Solar. No, no, it's not hard. The third one is solar, solar. plexus. Good job, Lori. The next one? Someone already said it. Okay, heart, that's right. And then, we got a couple more. What's after heart chakra? Throat chakra, that's it. You got it, Theory. Theory, you got the most points right now. <laughs> Crown, Ruth, all right, so there you go. So you got all the seven chakras there. You guys did your homework? Awesome. So, uh, okay, so we have chakra meditation vibration. So each chakra has a frequency. Did you know that? So root chakra is 228. Sacral chakra is 303. Solar plexus is 182. Heart chakra is 128. Throat chakra is 192. Third eye chakra is 144. Crown chakra is 216. Okay, so what we did is we built um, uh, harmonics with each chakra based on this frequency. And you can now do meditation with this frequency, even just as a sound, um, to, to enhance and activate that chakra in your body. Who would like to experience that? That's okay? incredible, David, wow. I didn't yeah, know that so, you had these frequencies, um, the, like the hertz in there as well, that's incredible. Exactly. So the root chakra, uh, as you, if, you, you know, if you study these chakras, is, um, is for governing our, um, passion, 
our survival. It's it's for everyday, um, you know, survival. It's for centering and grounding. So, so it's good if you feel like you're spread out too thin or you're like lacking um, grounding or centering. Then you want to focus and uh, meditate with the root chakra. Okay. The next one, the sacral chakra, is the sex center. Okay. So it's it's for sensuality. It's also for creativity, and um, it's for relationships. It's for pleasure. It's for self worth. So if you need help with that, uh, you can meditate with that chakra. The next one is the solar plexus chakra, which is located right uh, below uh, your stomach, between your ribs, right, solar plexus. And this is the center of power and self-esteem and vitality. So it's a chi energy center for mental power. So if you need something, if you need motivation, this is the chakra you need. You need to focus on your solar plexus chakra. The next one is the heart chakra. And that, um, you know, apparently is for peace and love and beauty. So if you want to um, express, be more expressive or if you want to open up your heart, you've, you've been hurt, so you have a heart and heart or you don't have, don't feel peace, you're, something's bothering you all the time, then maybe it's your heart chakra that's being blocked, okay? So maybe you have grief, maybe you've been in a divorce or a breakup, maybe you've been abused emotionally or abandoned and, or so on, um, and you probably got hurt, then then your heart chakra probably is, uh, is suffering. So heart chakra, meditate on that, open that up and unblock those blockages. Next one is the throat chakra. Throat chakra is our key to uh, expression and for communicating. Uh, it can be any kind of communication, for example, doing a webinar or doing a video or doing a email or singing or dancing or writing or painting, expressing yourself in some way, right? The art of expressing yourself like Bruce Lee, right? You gotta express yourself. So if you need help with that, do throat chakra meditation. What's next is the third eye chakra. The third eye chakra is your pituitary gland, or it could be your pineal gland. And that in, deals with insight, intuition, and wisdom. So you need to be able to have insight, imagination, expand your consciousness, get more uh, revelations. If you're stuck with a problem and you need an answer to it, then you need to have a third eye meditation so that you can open your mind to new ideas, that's third eye chakra. Uh, crown chakra, crown chakra is on top of your head and it is the connection to cosmic consciousness. It's the connection to the universe field or you can call it, call it God, you can call it higher power, you can call it the source. The source of life is in our crown chakra. Okay, so if you want to explore that, if you want to enhance and activate that, then the crown chakra is what you need to meditate with. Okay, so we have all these chakra meditation harmonics as you can see and um, let me just review so we got the roots and then sacral and soul plexus heart throat chakra third eye crown chakra and pineal gland oh yeah this is this is bonus okay so there's another pineal gland frequency that i found based on based on guess what guess what's based on what frequency So if you study uh, um, ancient Taoist texts, like Taoist, uh, this is you know the, the same same um, train of education or, or teachings that uh, incorporate qigong. So if you do uh, Taoist meditation, um, they have something called the crystal palace. It's inside of your mind. Okay, it's just a it's just a um, way to explaining what's the pineal gland, and they have a special frequency for that. And so I found that in some ancient texts and I created the pineal gland activation frequency and it's included here. Okay, do you know what the pineal gland is for? I think we're gonna come back to that in a second. Okay, let's come back to the pineal gland. But, and then there's also the seven chakra tune-up harmonics. Okay, so what we did is we combined uh, a series of harmonics and frequencies into one album where it tunes all your chakras up at the same time. Okay, so that would be good for um, balancing and activating all the chakras, all seven chakras. And uh, just like the other albums, we combine all these into one, chak uh, one chakra bundle, one value bundle is called the Ultimate Chakra Series. Okay, so that's available on the store as well. That's being mm -hmm. released today. Maybe and I then- just wanna say, I just wanna say as well that uh, chakra tune-up activation, that would be great for any practitioners out there. So that's already set up for you to you know, assist with any of your clients. Same with Reiki's 
uh, healers or anyone out there who, you know, is supporting people and groups of people, you've got that, you know, playlist set up right there for you. Yeah, awesome. So, uh, yeah, so we have, so if you want um, to focus on a specific track, right, you can play one of those albums. There's about 10 tracks and you can pick the one that you like all with different iterations of that chakra. Um, and then we also have one album that has a whole bunch of tune-up, seven chakra tune-ups. So you can tune up each chakra with a harmonic, okay? So you can work with them individually or you can work with them all together at the same time, okay? And then next, even more exciting stuff. Are you guys ready? We're ready. Are you ready? Say ready. I still say I'm ready. I'm ready. Raise your hand. <laughs> We've got some people raising their hands in the chat. Okay, good. Martin All right. Uh, the next is uh, Fibonacci Rodian Ratio, 1.6180339. It's the universal ratio of beauty and balance. Okay, I'm not going to go too much into the math, but you can do some research yourself. It's based on the spiral, and then each, um, and it occurs throughout nature, and the, and the, and the ratio is 1.618. You can see it in plants. You can see it in nature. You can see it in galaxies. You can see it in the structure of our facial faces. You can see it in our hands. It all has this ratio of 1.618. You can also see it in, in, our, in our entire body, the ratio of our little, of our little, little uh, joints in our fingers and hands and wrists and arm, even how our skeletal structure of our whole body is all based on eye ratio, based on Fibonacci ratio. Isn't that amazing? And what else? There's also Fibonacci ratio in finances called the Fibonacci retracement. Even human behavior is determined by Fibonacci ratio and lots of traders, stock traders use this. Okay, so what does it mean? What is it? Well, um, what if we were able to build a frequency based on, um, based on nature's design? because this is all nature, it's occurring everywhere. It's occurring in plants, occurring in our human body, occurring in the galaxy, occurring in human behavior as well. So what if I was able to build a frequency that is based on this nature, nature's definition of beauty? Because that's what it is, isn't it? It's nature's definition of beauty based on a ratio, okay? So that's exactly what we did. We took brainwave frequencies and then we built a harmonic sequence that is based on nature's definition of beauty. So how does this sound? You just have to listen to it and you tell me how this feels, okay? But let me tell you, when I play this, it just makes me just like, whoa, just zone out. Or it can make me just like be super focused. Or it can make me, it can make me feel just totally clear, pristine, Right? Like if there was a fog in front of me and then I had a headache, like I just play this for about, let's say five minutes, just as a sound. I'm not even using the chi coil yet. I'm not even using the resonant one. I'm not even using my aura coil back there. I'm not using that. I'm just using the sound. And it's like, just like, like, like the curtains just lift open and like everything's clear. And like, I don't even get tired. Like I work for like four hours and I was like, whoa, four hours have passed. It's over. You know, and I got like, I got so much stuff done. It's unbelievable. I did like today I can work for, let's say two hours and that will be like all the work I need to do all day. Okay. Or I can work for like a day and that'll be like what somebody can do in a week. Okay. It's because of how efficient your brain can function. How fast can you problem solve? How fast can you organize ideas? How fast can you communicate or execute ideas and problems, okay? So what happens when you listen to this frequency, this is just my experience, is that it balances out and tunes and clears up your mind so that your brain can operate at its optimum speed and optimum capacity. Who would like to experience that, okay? So if you want to like, have, have who's seen the movie um, Limitless? Yeah, Limitless. Who's seen the movie Limitless? Raise your, raise your hand. Okay, I feel like it's like taking that pill and then all of a sudden, <laughs> boom, right? Everything just becomes so clear. And then now you have superhuman mind power and you can like predict 
predict what's going to happen. Okay, so this is I'm kind of, huh? <laughs> I'm excited to try it out. Yeah, yeah. If you haven't seen Limitless, watch that movie. It's on Netflix, I think. Limitless. And then, um, and then you get what I'm talking about, okay? They take this pill and they become superhuman. So imagine if you can become a superhuman. You have a super brain with a heightened perception, um, deeper meditation, super focus, uh, brainwave stimulation, brain cognition, problem solving, mathematics, um, just everything you can, you can think about your brain uh, if it's enhanced. Like think about what you can do now with your brain and multiply that by two, then multiply that by 10, then multiply that by 100, then see how much you can, you know, what, what is the potential, okay? So let's get back to this here. And what is it? It increases the synchronicity of delta brainwaves. It maintains balance by tuning your brainwaves to the perfect golden ratio. It opens unused parts of your brain, increase intelligence, experience deep relaxation and focus. Okay, so you just have to really try it out to really experience this. And that leads us back to the pineal gland. Um, it activates luminous chemical production in your brain. And it's a secret star frequency that causes dramatic pineal gland activations, okay? Our pineal gland is in the middle of our, our brains. And then um, recently scientists have found that it's the source or, or the gland or the organ that actually creates melatonin. Melatonin is what regulates our um, sleep and our wakefulness. And what's specifically uh, interesting about the pineal gland is that this structure is like an eye. You mean like your eye. So it actually light sensitive. Why is there something light sensitive that's in the middle of your head where the no light gets to? Can you figure it out? Why is there an organ inside of our head that is sensitive to light when no light gets to it? Well, maybe it is receiving a different kind of light. Maybe it's not receiving visible light. Maybe it's receiving something else. Okay, so what is the pineal gland? The pineal gland is associated with intuition, with um, um, sexual hormones, okay? So uh, reproductive hormones as well. It's also associated with um, precognition. It's also associated with astral projection. It's also associated with, um, what else? Basically ESP, extrasensory perception, okay? So people who have extreme, um, they would say sixth sense, or people who are able to uh, have precognitive abilities, like tell things are gonna happen before they happen, their pineal glands are, are actually bigger than normal people's. And what happens when we grow older is our, most people's pineal glands become hardened, become calcified. They become covered or encrusted with calcium. And what, that, what happens when it does that is it basically, it limits the uh, amount of creativity, amount of um, manifesting ability, the amount of this superhuman abilities that most people would consider in, in a person. And that happens after puberty. So at, when, once puberty hits, most people, uh, pineal glands start to die, start to calcify. Okay, so what, what's the point of having a pineal gland activation uh, frequency is now we want, to, we want to activate that pineal gland again. We want to break down the calcification so that it softens up and starts to have more blood flow so you actually become more intuitive. Okay, who wants to be more intuitive? Who wants to be able to have precognition, like know what's gonna happen before it happens? Yeah, who doesn't, right? Then we can like buy the lottery and win lots of money. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't mean like that, right? But, but you know, you have better intuition. You can make better decisions based on intuition. Uh, you can have more powerful dreams. Who, who wants to have more lucid dreams? Yeah, lucid dreaming, it will enhance that. It will enhance your imagination, enhance your creativity. Okay, so study the pineal gland is very powerful. And we have the frequency that can activate it for you. Who would like to have that? Who wants the pineal gland to be activated, decalcified, and be like as if you were like before puberty? <laughs> Back in the womb. <laughs> Back in the womb even, okay? They say that children have the most, um, most intuitive, right? The children have the most powerful psychic abilities. And we lose it as we grow older. So who would like to have a psychic ability like a child? That would be great. 
and the vision. Okay, so as I said, this is like the movie Limitless. You take the pill and then you become superhuman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Okay, so now what's even better is we combine those frequencies. Uh, so these three specifically. Brainwave enhancement, balance, and clarity, true five brainwave uh, focus concentration, pineal gland activation, we combine it into the Brain Boost Bundle and get it all in one value package in our store. Okay, it's available now. Okay, there's more. You guys want, you guys want more? Who wants more? We want more. I should just stop now, right? Should I stop now? No. No? You guys want more? We got one no. <laughs> okay. Right. It's good because the best is yet to come. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm, congratulations for staying. And here's the best part. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here's the best part. Now, next we go into our abundance and manifestation frequencies. Whoa. You're telling me, whoa, David Wall, you're telling me now you have frequencies that can attract abundance and help you manifest things? Holy cow. <laughs> okay, what if there's frequencies that help you attract abundance, help you manifest things into reality? What would that do for you? If you could have an idea in your mind and be able to manifest that into reality even faster than, than the secret. <laughs> and most people can't do it even with the secret, right? Okay, now, now you can manifest it, okay? Because what's the secret is missing, this mixing this. The secret says, okay, you just imagine it in your mind and then it's gonna happen, right? Well, what if you can amplify that process, speed up that process so you can get it faster? So that you can manifest things into reality faster, okay? Let me show you a set of frequencies that can help you do just that. Okay, so there is the 360 balance frequency of wholeness. Okay, so we have, um, we have a set of frequencies for that. 432. The balanced frequency of life, the cosmic frequency of life. This has been called many things. 432, we have a series of harmonics and frequencies that are based on 432. That's not available any, anywhere. There's lots of people using 432 all over the place, but no, none of them are using it in the way that we are using it. None of them are building a harmonic sequence like we are. Okay, so if you want to experience 432 in a brand new way, then check out this 432 cosmic frequency of life album. What else? We also have Infinities Plus for abundance and release, and this is really cool. I use this all the time, and it's based on Archimedes' math. Archimedes is the father of physics, and he uh, invented the infinite decimals, ratios. For example, one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 and so on, okay? Now, if you wanna check it out, it's basically, the basic premise is like, is this. If you take a calculator, you know, you just open up your phone, go to your calculator now, and then you just go, 10 divided by nine, what do you get? 1.11111. One, 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 okay? Now your calculator doesn't have enough space, so it just stops there. But in reality, it keeps on going on for infinity. That one, 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 one just keeps on going for infinity. So these are the numbers that are used to build a zero point field. What's a zero point field? Zero point field in science is the source of infinite energy. It's like the middle of the black hole. It goes into infinite infinity, okay? But once you get into the middle, if it's even possible, then uh, you can now access infinite energy according to science, okay? So that's just the basic explanation. The, the, the mathematics is actually you know, more complicated than that. I'm not gonna explain this, but, um, but then what do you use it for? Well, we use it to break down barriers using the zero point field as the source of infinite energy. So we have frequencies that are based on this mathematical concept. And we have a whole series of them in this album. What do you use it for? Stress relief, attracting abundance, open doors to possibilities, releasing blockages. It can be blockages either financially, physically, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually. So all those things in your life, you find a blockage that you can't get unstuck from. So play this frequency and see what happens. Thanks, Martin. Yes, nine is the spirit. So we have nine in there. Nine in the infinite form, in the infinite decimals. Okay, so that's one of them. We go from one to nine. And then we have also the combination synergy of all the, all the, uh, all the tracks in once. Okay, 
So who, who wants to be um, released from blockages financially? Yeah? Physically? Yeah? Mental? Mentally? Emotionally? Spiritually? Yeah. Experiences. Whenever I feel like nothing's working, like special grade, I play this and I feel like, whoa, I'm good and I'm not stressed anymore. And then in like in other minutes, just, and something just shifts. And then all of a sudden, you make a sale. Or all of a sudden, uh, I get a phone call uh, going to help me out. Or all of a sudden, uh, some situation turns out, you know, for the better. My experience is when I play this frequency, what happens is for some reason, when, I'm, when all this negative stuff is happening to me, let's say I'm totally stressed out. Nothing's working out. We're experiencing mercury retrograde. Everybody's um, sick or everybody is, is uh, stressed out. I play this frequency and basically I have no stress. It just dissipates. It just disappears. And I don't understand how it works, but it just works. And then for some reason, many cases, even that instant I, I play it, maybe a minute or two later, like the circumstances shift and they change. And I get a call of someone that uh, I need to talk to, or I found a solution to something that I had a problem with or something I was stuck with, now I'm not stuck with anymore. It was a problem that needed to be solved. It solved itself for some reason. Or I received some encouragement from somebody that um, and I needed or received something. So I, I received something that I needed at that time of, of, uh, of, of distress. So I don't know if it's just me, but I think even if it's not, just the stress relief part is good enough for most people, okay? If you can just, yeah. I just want to say something, David. So you were saying you're not sure how it works. And I think, I think you know how it works. But one example I want to give is for, you know, all the spiritual people out there that follow a guru or have heard of a story like that, where you get into someone's presence who is in this infinite quantum field, the zero point field, and healings happen, miracles happen. We become instantly relaxed. We become instantly stress-free. We know ourselves. It's the same thing um, that this technology is able to bring you. These are natural occurring harmonics and frequencies that, again, with the push of a button, um, are allowing us to attune to and step into that frequency immediately. Okay, that's a good explanation. So, so if you can basically tune yourself to the source of all energy, the source of all infinite infinity, then all these things just happen naturally. This is something I use almost on a daily basis. And it's done amazing things for me. Um, I've been able to achieve a lot um, personally, you know, in, in, in my business, in health, and mentally and, and spiritually with this frequency. So this is highly recommended. Uh, what's next is the pineal gland activation. Oh, here, here's my notes on this. Okay, I finally found it. So as I said before, it opens your third eye, increases brain creativity, intuition, insight, See in your mind's eye imagination. Also used for improving memory. Um, your pineal gland is sensitive to light. It creates melatonin. It's linked with sexual reproduction hormones. It's a source of ESP, preconnection, remote feeling, lucid dreaming, connection between the physical and spiritual worlds. Okay, so that's in the pineal gland activation frequency. And as I said, um, this is a special frequency that I found in ancient texts. And that's included. There's also the Trinity frequency. What are the three most sacred frequencies? in the universe, well, one's pi, one's phi, and one is the pyramid angle. So we combine these three frequencies into this album. Uh, it's really great for um, connecting with God because you know God is behind or the universe is, is creating these most powerful frequencies. So we put them all into one album. Uh, what else? We have the cube. The cube, what is it? It's recommended for intermediate and advanced meditators only. Um, if you look at the Holy of Holies in Jerusalem, they have a, uh, in the Bible, they have very specific measurements and dimensions of how they built it. So they built a model of it. And guess what the Holy of Holies shape is? What shape is that? It's a cube. Can you see? It's actually a cube. Okay. So, and it's in that cube that is housed, that housed the uh, Ark of the Covenant. So if you read the Bible, you know that the Ark of the Covenant is our connection to God. And Abraham and, and uh, used it to communicate with God. What was this device that they used to communicate with God? And why was it put into a cube in a room 
that was shaped like a cube. Well, maybe there's a secret to the resonance of a cube that allowed you to connect to the spiritual world. So what we did was we taken this the cube math and then we created frequencies with that. So you can test it out and see how that works for you. What's next? There's the Great Pyramids Sacred Geometry, okay? What is it? It's a manifesting manifestation amplifier, the Great Pyramid. And if you go a little bit of the math, it's really, there's a lot of math that goes with it, to it, but the secret frequency is 51.51. And how that's measured is, is based on um, the measurements and sacred geometry of the pyramid. Uh, according to P Peter Lemerzeria's notes in his book, The Great Pyramid Decoded that he wrote in 1977, there's 14 places in the pyramid that had the measurement of 41.21 inches. Okay, that includes the entrances, the passageways, the uh, center passageways, the galleries, the chamber, king's chamber, queen's chamber, and so on. This number, 41.21 inches, re repeated itself throughout the Great Pyramid of Giza. So based on that, we were able to find the frequency of the pyramid at 51.51, which is also the angle of the Great Pyramid. And then there, we basically use these frequencies to create um, harmonics um, that allow you to meditate with the frequency of the pyramid. And what was the pyramids used for? Can anybody guess? I guess everybody can guess. <laughs> Even all the, all the scientists are guessing what the pyramids are for. But the pyramids, one specific thing that it does, it helps you to manifest things into reality. The pyramids are, help, help you to, to speed up the manifestation ability inside of your mind, inside of your body, or, or you as a person. So who wants to be able to manifest things like just with the snap of the finger? Yeah, everybody wants to do that. Well, who, what if you can do that? And what if you can just enhance your ability to manifest faster and more powerfully and more clearly um, by using pyramid? Like these are ancient sacred um, sounds and sacred measurement and sacred math that was used in the pyramid that's been there for thousands of years. And now it's been discovered or rediscovered and now we created frequencies. We created harmonics that you can experience now as if you were inside of the pyramid, now meditating in the pyramid, in the king's chamber. Imagine you can feel that energy just with the sounds and now amplified with something like a chi coil and amplified like something like a, like an aura coil or a resonant one. Okay, who would like to experience that? Some of you already experienced this already who have the technology now. You're probably using this right now, okay? So we have that available. One of the more powerful frequencies we have. So once again, all those frequencies that you see is, um, well, you don't even see it. Let me show you again. So all those frequencies that um, here, including the um, infinity plus and the pineal gland activation, the trinity, the cube, uh, great pyramids, they're all included into this powerful meditation abundance amplifier album, which, which com, uh, combines all of them into one value bundle that you can get online. Okay, now let's get into ancient solfeggio fre so, uh, frequencies. Solfeggio frequencies are sung by the monks, Gregorian monks in their Gregorian chants. And the frequencies are, are um, based on this uh, kind of like a, um, interesting way of, of doing math, but uh, I'm not going to go into it. We can do a whole webinar of this. But uh, as you can see with cymatics, uh, each one of these frequencies have a specific number of nodes. You can see if you count the, the nodes that come out from the frequency, when it's used to, uh, when they turn the frequency into a visible form, that's what cymatics is, okay? So these are cymatic photos of these frequencies. And you can see that they actually, the number of nodes are actually correspond to the uh, solfeggio frequencies, okay? So what's the, um, what's the significance of this? Is that there's Dr. Joseph Puglio in the 1990s discovered a theory that the six frequencies carry precise characteristics and the tones can be used therapeutically. So there's a lot of people saying that solfeggio frequencies, it's a hoax, it doesn't work, but there's many actual science um, research done that show that these frequencies actually affect our DNA. And actually uh, another Japanese study done in 2018 
showed the um, it reduced stress at 528 hertz, which is also one of the sulfagio frequencies. Uh, researchers concluded that 528 hertz music has an especially strong stress-reducing effect, even only after five minutes of exposure. So, so, so yeah, it's it works. And uh, what we've done is we we've created a whole albums for each frequency. So go from 174 is for pain management, back pain, arthritis, and headaches. Uh, 285 for deep healing from within, soothe and calming healing frequency. Uh, 396 for liberation of guilt and fear. 417 for undoing situations and facilitating change. We also have 528 for transformation and DNA transformation, DNA repair and miracles. 633 for connecting and relationships. 741 for intuition and divine knowledge. 852 for inner insight, awakening and self-realization. 963 for higher mind activation. So all these, once again, all these albums contain about 10 or so frequencies. And then we combine them all into one album and get them from the store. Lastly, we also have new PMF frequencies. These are scientifically proven PMF frequencies with different health benefits. PMF promotes uh, cellular communication, which in turn enhances self-healing and wellness. All right, so these are scientifically proven. So all the other ones, some have been scientifically proven, some are so new that nobody's ever done any scientific research on them. But here, something that is, has lots of scientific research. Okay, so what are these frequencies? Seven hertz, 10 hertz, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, and 50. And these have scientific uh, uh, literature that back and support that they're used for bone healing successfully, ligament healing, cell growth, osteogenesis. Osteogenesis means the regrowth of bone. Collagen production, DNA synthesis, in decreased skin necrosis, stimula stimulation of an angiogenesis and fibroblast proliferation. Okay, what that means is basically your skin doesn't die as fast. Your skin stays healthier longer. Osteoporosis, uh, osteogenesis, same thing, infl inflammation, and, and so on. Okay, so scientifically proven, you can you know, read the research articles of these frequencies being able to do all these things uh, to your body, okay? Who's excited about that? Now those are available, okay? Now we have PMF frequencies. So you know what makes uh, this company so unique and our products so unique is that we combine so many different frequencies from different modalities, right? Because this PMF Evo, PMF Evo, they play with all the lower frequencies from seven to 50 hertz, like the one that you, um, that I, that I just explained to you. And that's great, right? So what we do, we take that stuff and then we, we, we incorporate it into our, our stuff. And then there's rife frequencies. And then um, lots of people use rife frequencies and they say that it works great for them. So, okay, fine, we'll take rife frequencies. And then there's meditation frequencies like Sophedro, Infinities, like Archimedes frequencies um, from sacred geometry. And then people say, well, those are great. So we take those two and then we incorporate them. That's why we have one of the most, um, the most frequencies and the most different kinds of frequencies that you can get anywhere and we incorporate it into our technology. That's what makes us different, okay? So if you want to get all of them, we have the ultimate pack, which includes all of the frequencies I talked about today in one crazy value package price, okay? And you can get that on the store. And uh, what's more, if you want to, so all these are MP3s, you can, you can buy them on the store and you can download them and you can play them on anywhere, like your uh, iTunes, you can play them on your computer, you can play them on an MP3 player, you can play them on an iPod, okay? So um, you can do that. But what we also have is something called a resonant wave console. And we now we have the second version because now we have the 500, now we have 500 plus quantum frequencies, 10,000 plus write frequencies, and it's all programmed into this tablet, okay? And then this tablet has an app, and this app has all the frequencies, okay? And the cool thing is now you can use this app to, um, to play all these frequencies, okay? So all the frequencies here, you don't have to fool around with the MP3 player or your computer. And we also have programs. So if you have, want to meditate, we, we select like um, 10 frequencies that play for you. you. If you want to play it for uh, repeatedly, you can repeat, play it repeatedly. You can create your own programs. 
and there's, there's 10,000 write frequencies. One of the systems with the most write frequencies in one system. And we combine them with quantum frequencies. So, so it's very powerful. Um, you can add your own frequencies. You can create your own therapy sequences. Uh, no, lead to, no need to download any frequencies because it's all in the, um, in the tablet. And this is literally the next generation of frequency wellness. It's, you can frequency wellness in your fingertips, right? You can select the frequency, you add it to the track, you play, press play, and then now you can play the frequency like that. Okay, so that's available. And that is part of our resonant wave systems. You can get uh, it included one of our systems that go with the wands. And then, so where do you go to order all this stuff, right? You can yeah, go to, how huh? How do I get it? How do you get it? Okay. So you can get it right now. You can go to chilifestore.com to get these right now. And you can order uh, with credit card or PayPal, and you can get instant access to all these three things that, see, that I just talked about, and you can um, start experiencing them right now, okay? And just to be clear, so when you're going to the store, chilifestore.com on the homepage there, um, you've got the different selections and these specific ones that David went through today are, are under the quantum frequency. So you would select quantum frequencies. Right. Okay. So if you get to our webpage, whether on your phone or on your laptop, you just go to the menu and then you can go to frequencies and then you can go to quantum frequencies and then you will come to this page and then you can see everything here available. Okay. So you can see the ultimate collection pack, which is everything I talked about, which is the best deal, the best value. It's only nine ninety seven. Whereas if you buy them individually, it'll be multiple times that. And uh, see, so everything's here. So you can read about it. You can um, you can see which ones you want. Just you can pick and choose if you want. Uh, you can buy each collection separately, right? Or you can get the Resonant Wave console. Our old console, the version one, has only one hundred twenty two quantum frequencies, the new version is updated with a larger um, memory uh, because the, the, all these ones couldn't fit in the old one. So we had to create a, we had to use a, uh, a higher model of the tablet in order to fit all of them. So that's 1995. Okay, so you can either, yeah. Good question, David. So what happens if I already have the old console and I wanna get all of these upgrades? Okay, if you have the old console, unfortunately, we can't just send you or update your, your current console because it's not big enough. It doesn't have enough capacity. So what you can do is you can actually upgrade, uh, just um, pay the $500. We, we can trade in your old one for the new one. So, um, which is pretty good. And now you get the uh, 500 frequencies and uh, quantum frequencies and you still get the 10,000 that you already have. Perfect. So and you get I a brand new. And you get a brand new, brand new tablet. You get to trade your old one for a brand new one. So that's a good deal. Yeah, that's a really good deal. So not only am I saving money on the whole bundle, I'm getting all these 500 plus frequencies plus the upgrade of a tablet for $500. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So even if you had the tablet for two years, uh, right now, we, you know, if you do it within the limited time, we're going to give you a brand new tablet if you trade in your old one. So even if you had the tablet for two years or three years, we'll trade you a brand new tablet. You just had to pay $500 more. You get all the new frequencies, updated app, everything. Okay. And then we just call the, they would just need to call the support line to do that. Uh, call the support line. Yeah. You can call the support line to do that for you. Uh, Sergio wants to know, I don't want the tablet, I just want to download frequencies. Yes, you can do that. So just go to the website and just buy them, in the, um, buy the package. You can buy the whole package for $997, $997. Usual value is $3,363. So it's like $3,300 value. You can get it for $1,000, everything. And you can download that as a uh, MP3, all MP3s, okay? Uh, oh yeah. Was there a special frequency you can share with us other than the ones already shared? Yes, there is. So as I promised, I said that at the end of the webinar, I'm gonna give you a free frequency, right? So go to, uh, let me see if it's even up. Our technicians are working on it. Um, the big question is, what is the frequency to cause cancer cells to die? And if you find it, keep your secret so Big Pharma does not shut you down. 
Um, there are frequencies on the console that you can, they're not on the website, so you have to get the console to, to get those frequencies. So talk to our customer service, um, talk to Carmel, and she can help you with that. Yeah. Uh, I can buy outright and not have, can I buy outright and not have stuff? Yeah, so, so yeah, that's what the website's for. You can buy those um, frequencies outright and you can own them forever, okay? Uh, well, I don't have a tablet and just want to download frequencies. I answered that. Yeah, you can just um, go on the website and purchase them. And I just want to make the point again that these will work um, with the sound waves um, that if you're downloading in just this MP3, but if you don't have the products yet, there is an incredible added benefit from experiencing the wave frequencies through the devices and allowing your body to attune to the wave frequency as well. Okay, so a common question people ask is, um, uh, can I just use these as a sound versus using them as a electromagnetic uh, frequency. So if you're wondering what the chi coils are for, these are chi coils or the aura coils that you can see in the back there or our resonant wands. You have a resonant wand there? The gold resonant wand. Yeah, our body has different ways of receiving frequencies. So we can receive it as a sound so that goes into our ears we can hear it right it programs our our brain waves a little um but what happens with sound waves is that they actually bounce off your skin most of it bounces off um but what happens is when you use an electromagnetic wave um, it actually goes through your whole body okay because magnets go through your body okay let me show you there's one question here from Nora. I'm going to answer while you're doing that. Nora's asking, how long does it take for the body to start responding to the frequencies? And Nora, just like uh, David was saying, sometimes it's immediately. Um, sometimes, depending on other conditions, uh, to actually have an effect on the condition and witness it, it can take you know a couple of sessions and so forth. But depending on what frequency and what you're trying to work with, um, the effects can be immediate. Is that correct, David? Yeah, how fast can you experience the effects? It depends on the person because it is, depends on the situation, what health condition they have as well. Some people are more sensitive to electromagnetic um, therapy. Some people are not. Um, so like we've had people use the cheek coil, they had back pain and then instantly like that, I was maybe like in the next, in 10 seconds, they started to feel it. And then in five minutes, the pain was went away. And then the next morning, the pain was still gone. Um, so it depends, right? There's another friend of mine who, who uh, got the chi call. And then when he used it, he said, nothing's happening, right? And, and I just told him, well, just keep using it like every day. And then after a week or so, he said, he said, oh, I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to sleep better. I said, okay, that's great. Keep using it, right? And then a month later, I asked him, well, how did it go? And he said, well, now I feel lighter for some reason. I just feel happier, feel lighter. But some people have like a more subtle effect on them and it takes longer some people can feel it right away so if you get it and you feel like uh, i'm not getting any fast i don't feel anything well there's a couple of things you can do either just use it longer or you can get the power kit or just get a more powerful system maybe you're someone that needs uh, more juice in in the electromagnetic frequency okay but what i was going to demonstrate was that um magnets go through your body right it's easy magnets are sticking to my hand here okay so sound waves bounce off your body, but magnetic waves can go through your body. So, so when we use our devices uh, along with the frequencies, what's happening is that you are actually programming your entire body, your host, all your cells and all your nerves, um, you know, deep within yourself with the electromagnetic waves. So you can experience these frequencies, not just as a sound, now you can experience it as electromagnetic uh, uh, energy, chi energy, so to speak. Is it better with headphones? If you're doing meditation, that's up to you, right? It's a personal preference. Uh, with the he headphones, what I found was that you can shut off the other outside noises and you can probably hear some of the lower, lower frequencies more because headphones can do that. Um, if you just play it with a regular speaker or the you know, computer speakers, some frequencies you won't be able to hear because the speakers are not really that high quality most of the time. So whether it's better with headphones or not is really, uh, you just have to test it out and see if it works. What's the difference between getting, uh, getting hooked to a machine and getting frequencies 
versus listening to frequencies. Yeah, so that's why I just um, talked about. So if you just listen to frequencies, they're good for meditation. They're good for like um, for your mind, right? And but for the rest of your body, it just bounces off. Whereas if you use the devices, it turns the sounds into a, a energy wave. So energy magnetic wave, and that wave actually goes through your body. As I just demonstrated, magnets go through your body. Okay, you see these two magnets, the magnetic energy is going through my body. So when that happens, now you can experience, oops, now you can experience the, the frequencies and the energy as the energy wave rather than as just a sound. And the, the effects are a lot more profound as you can imagine. Regarding the madness, what, what if one has a pacemaker? Um, yeah, so if you have a pacemaker, um, officially, you're not, we don't recommend you to use them, but if you uh, want to use them, you, I wouldn't use anything very strong. I would just use a cheek coil, which is very weak. I don't mean weak, but I mean weaker than the other ones. So we don't recommend you use it if you have a pacemaker. Can you hold on to any magnet and experience absorption? Can you hold on to any magnet and experience absorption? Okay, when you hold on to the magnet while you are using the technology, what that does is it helps you to feel the vibration because the magnet's gonna vibrate along with the, the energy waves. You can feel it vibrate. So it may give you a different sense or different um, experience while you're using the technology. What we use, and what it also does is it helps you to kind of um, focus the, the energy waves into a certain part of your body. So we have these gold therapeutic magnets that you can get on our website as well. And they come together with our pro package for the sheet coils. And when you use these, you can just tape them, just use regular tape and tape them to your, the part where you want to focus the, uh, the chi energy or the uh, um, energy waves. And you'll get a more focused like um, effect on that part. I have the Qi Coil app on my iPhone with the basic frequencies. Can we download the free Corona frequency on the Qi Coil app? No, the, the coronavirus frequency will not be on the Qi Coil app. So you'll have to just go on that link I gave you or you can just buy the MP3 from, from the website. What is the winding pattern of Qi Coils? Winding pattern, there's no winding pattern Qi Coil. It's a, it's a toroid and it doesn't touch each other. So it's not like the winding pattern on the on the oracle winding pattern oracle. Well, we're not gonna give that away, but um, there's no real winding pattern here. Rather, it's just like it's just a toroid, and we wind the wires, and they don't touch each other into that toroid shape. David, I have a quick question. What's the difference between the gold um, chi coil there and the copper one that we offer? Um, gold looks nicer. <laughs> <laughs> are there any uh property benefits between the copper and the well gold the you... gold this is actually 24 karat gold plated so um some people can say that um gold has properties that uh, you know it's associated with abundance and with with healing right so that may there may be some of that but other than that it just looks a lot cooler 24 karat gold where can I locate the coronavirus frequency? It is on that link I gave you. Uh, Nelson, can you post it again? Um, do you have a special magnet or can you use any magnet that you may have at home? Well, these are, you can use any magnet, but, but these are the strongest magnets that I've ever, I've ever had. And they're gold plated. Gold plated is good because then it's safe on your skin. Um, just like, um, Jewelry, right? If it's like gold plated or um, then it's, it's hypoallergenic. There's a lot of magnets out there. If you just use it just with a plain magnet, it might not be um, comfortable on your skin. So these are very nice. They're real gold, 24 karat gold plated. And they're super, super strong. You see that? They're crazy strong. And sometimes people have a hard time even taking it off each other because they're so tightly. I have to like use it, I have to press it on the table to, to take it off <laughs> and I still can't do it. Wow. And our wand is gold plated as well. 
the gold one. So that is um, that's gold paint. That's not gold plated. Okay. The front the front is gold plated. Yeah, that's gold plated. Those are those are um, rubies and and sapphires on there. You want to show it closer? We've got the sapphires and the rubies. Yeah. So people are asking, are, are those uh, real rubies or real sapphires? Yes, they're real rubies, real sapphires. Uh, we're going to get a gem report from a gem lab to prove it to you that they're real. real. Now, they're not natural rubies and sapphires because that would cost you like $20,000 for those rubies and sapphires in there. They're lab grown. Okay, so they're chemically and atomically the same as real natural rubies and sapphires, but they're grown in a lab in Germany. Okay. Okay, so Are they're you, the same quality, same properties, same benefits from them, but actually affordable, and we can utilize them to help push these frequencies through to get the benefits from the gems as well. Is that correct? Yeah, well, what we found was that the gems actually um, produce ions, just like crystals produce ions, uh, or your salt lamp produces ions, right, when, it's, um, when the electrons are uh, excited. So when the electromagnetic frequency goes through the um, the wand, um, it's got a generating a magnetic field, and also the heat from the wand, like the warmth from the wand, actually excites the electrons a little in the gems, which produce ions. And the gem ions are like ruby ions, for example, are 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 from chromium, because chromium is what causes the red color in the ruby gems. So chromium ions uh, are healthy for for the body. They actually help. Um, retain water and there have been some um, uses of ruby gems in India and they've been using it for cancer. Uh, they, in India there's a book talks about how they use ruby ground it up and people would drink ruby like ruby concoctions and then they were getting cured of cancer. Why was that? And basically it's because of the ruby ion. So instead of like drinking ruby concoction why not just get the ion? So that's what happens when we have, that's why we put the ruby gems on there. A question we had from Martin was, I thought one was clockwise and the other was anti-clockwise. Um, yeah, so if you buy chi call, if you buy the two chi calls in our sets, we have the clockwise and a, and a counterclockwise. I don't know where I put my other one, but basically they, they go in opposite directions. And the counterclockwise ones, we call it yin, and then the clockwise ones, we call it yang. So um, in Chinese philosophy, yin is for um, the feminine, and then the yang is for the masculine. Yin is for like the, the subtle, and then the yang is for the um, external. So it's just a different feeling, okay? The yin, you find it to be more relaxing and more opening. The yin, you'll, you, I mean, the yang, you'll find to be more like focused and more expansive. So if you want to experience the two kind of energies, then, um, then you get both of them. And then we also, we also have days where, you know, we're feeling down, depressed, our energy's locked or blocked up. And then that's where, you know, starting out with the yin, just opening those, that energy up and then using the yang on top of that to build your energy um, now that you're open is a great way to use it. So we're always experiencing different things in our body. So it's a great way to utilize and uh, work with yin and yang energy because we need them both all the time. Exactly. Yeah. So um, here's another question. Did you cover frequencies that neutralize 5G? Um, is there, I don't know if there's any frequencies uh, out there that neutralize 5G because then I don't think there's any frequency that exists that can neutralize 5G. But what we do is we have frequencies that can boost your own electromagnetic field inside your body and create um, a stronger um, bio, bio energy, um, a bio field. Okay, so we all have electromagnetic field in our body um, that can be measured. And people who are healthier have stronger electromagnetic field, just like um, they found in the Heart Math uh, Institute. They've done many studies on this, showing that the heart actually has a stronger magnetic field than the brain, about 5,000 5, times stronger, in fact. And the stronger the magnetic field, then the person 
uh, would tend to be healthier, they tend to be more focused and tend to have uh, be in better mood in general. And people with really weak magnetic fields were stressed out, have uh, health problems and so on. So, so, um, so what we do is we enhance the biofield of a person by using our uh, electromagnetic therapy um, so that they will be more protected from 5G. It will affect them less and they'll be more healthy and more vibrant. Uh, other than yeah, other than creating a a giant um, biome <laughs> or covering your whole house house with a shield, uh, that can be very expensive. I mean, this is this is a very easy way to enhance your own biofield. It only starts from five hundred dollars, and you know if you want to create a biome and cover your whole house in a shield, <laughs> just imagine how much that, that's going to cost. Uh, and the good thing about this is that you can bring it with you anywhere. You can wear it in a belt clip or put it in your purse, put it in your bag, put it in your jacket pocket, and you can be playing this 24-7 uh, with your Qi Coil app and being able to enhance your own biofield 24-7, all, you know, all through the day, so that 5G or other effects will not, um, will not affect you as much. David, we had a question earlier from Teresa. She says, I'm new to this. What is the difference from the coil and the wand? What's the difference between coil and wand? So the wand that Carmel has there is used more for um, like direct spot treatments. So if you have a shoulder problem, if you have a hip problem or something that you can put directly on there. And, and it also has gems that um, give you those ions, right? And then it also has tourmaline crystals inside as well, which are um, helping to transmit uh, grounding energy, a protective uh, and shielding energy as well. So there's 11 to 12 tourmaline crystals inside of each wand as well. Right, yeah. So inside there's tourmaline crystals. So the wand has crystals, tourmalines, rubies, sapphires. Um, and yeah, whereas the coils don't have that. And the coils are used, uh, like the oral coil, are used more for like a, a tire area. So the coils you can put in the room, you can put in a, in a, in a house or in a practitioner's office, and it'll cover up to 5,000 square foot um, if you use the biggest coil that we have. The smallest co smaller coils, these are used for like compact and portable use. And um, they generate a, a you know, um, a subtle field. So definitely not, even close to as powerful as a wand or oracle, these are really powerful. But if you want something that you can take with you on the go and you want to just have with you, then th that's what the cheat calls are. Yeah, so Teresa, all of these play the frequencies, the quantum frequencies, the wand and the oracle play the right frequency as well and you're just getting more powerful uh, experience and effect with the frequencies through the wand or the aura coil. Right. Uh, are you available to talk to some people if they, question, they have questions, Carmel? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. What I'm so, going to do as well is drop a link here. So if any of you are interested, if you have more questions um, on another day as well, you can look to book an appointment with me and uh, we can chat for half an hour. I can find out how I can best support you in getting one of these products. Um, we do have financing available as well if you need that. And so I've just dropped that booking link into the chat box there. So you can find a time that works best for you within my schedule and uh, we can connect on the call. Okay, great. Okay, so I, that's it for this webinar. Um, no, I don't think it levitates. <laughs> it doesn't levitate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so thanks for coming, and we'll see you soon. Next week, we have something, uh, you have more amazing things to share with you, so make sure you come back. Same Chi Coil time, same Chi Coil place, and we'll see you in the next webinar. Have a good night. Thanks, guys.